Hello everyone and welcome to Pokemon TCG Center. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook from now on. And you can also check the CCG Castle, our official uh, store who sell the Pokemon cards and merchandise for really nice prices. And you can find the great deals each month. And we also provide you discount codes um, on your purchases. So also with every purchases you're getting the points and with uh, that points you can redeem them in the future for some discounts or something other. And we also have the latest uh, videos and deck coverage for the Pokemon TCG and we also do some unboxing and we will also do a Japanese unboxing in the future so don't forget to click the uh, YouTube, subscribe and uh, like us on Facebook so you can stay on with uh, uh, us and the future videos. Hello everyone, welcome to Pokemon TCG Center. Today I'm looking about a new deck and this time I built a budget, something for the fun. And I basically built um, a Selgor from the Furious Fist with this Arietos um, from the Ancient Origins. So basically um, there is only 12 Pokemon in total in this deck. Um, and yeah, pretty much deck is so cheap, like maybe 15 to 20 dollars I would say without versus seekers if you already have them so basically we have a Selgar um, 90 HP Pokemon with uh, raid and uh, after um, image uh, strike so basically with raid you can hit for um, 60 or 80 with muscle band uh, if you evolved uh, from Shelmet during your turn and with uh, second attack you can use for two energies, you can hit for 40 or 60 and if any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn you flip a coin, if heads you prevent that damage so basically you have free retreat and you can prevent your opponent's um, damage and that's pretty good because uh, your opponents will also take some damage counters from the poison of the Ariados with uh, poisonous nest because once they get turn you might use these abilities and both I think Pokemon expect uh, grass are now poisoned and I really like that and yeah that's a good combination it's not an EX attacker and you'll be taking um, up to two prize cards when you knock out your opponents and your opponents will take only one prize I think this is good deck against Night March I'm 100% sure that Night March have pretty much auto loss against this deck because you can one hit anything that Night March have and you also have those support with the, with that crushing and enhance hammers you also have team flare grant you also have zero seek you have plenty of options to slow down your opponent so yeah I play four copies of crushing hammer which will help me to discard an energy from my opponent's Pokemon if I get heads I play one enhance hammer so this is 100% discarding a special energy from your opponent's uh, Pokemon um, how many level balls? I have four level balls and four roller skates. I also have um, for um, the, uh, two super roads, uh, which allows me to shuffle three cards in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from my discard pile back to my deck. Um, two switch because you never know uh, when you really need it. You don't want to waste energies. So, yeah, I can maybe re replace those switches with. Floatstone or something like uh, head ringers, but for now I stuck with just uh, switch three trainers mail and four versus seeker. From the supporter, of course, I have two Lysanders, two birds observation, four sycamore for drug. I decided to play one team for a grant because I can discard an energy from my opponent's active Pokemon. I play one zero seek, I can discard a special energy or tool um, from to play. Three forest of the giant plants, of course. Three muscle bands and eight grass energies in total. So yeah, it's pretty interesting deck to see. Um, I'm not sure how it will actually work, but uh, I'm hundred percent. I'm hundred percent sure it's pretty good deck for the cheap um, price, and you can also get something with it. Okay, so let's do the testing and so let's see how it will actually perform. Um, let's flip the heads. Okay, so Teos will um, lose the coin flip. Um, I start second, so let's see 
what my opponent can draw and what I can draw. Okay, not a bad, bad hand, not a bad at all. Um, two Shelmets, four Stutichan plans, and I got like two energies, Crushing Hammer, Birch. Well, really good opening hand. I really like it. So yeah, I can even attack, discard energy, um, play Birch. But yeah, the problem is that my opponents play that freaking Gable Tall and he'll be able to um, recharge energies from the Disco Pile um, over and over again. So yeah, I need... Um, oh, there's a Maxis Hidden Ball Trick. I don't know why. It's the standard format, so why should you play Maxi? Uh, maybe for, um, I don't know, oh, for the Galate, of course. Okay, so, not bad. Shaman for the setup. Um, totally four cards to draw. Okay, so it will be pretty interesting to see how this deck will work. And there is a Float Stone and also Battle Compressor, so he will just discard three more cards. I can maybe also try to deck out my opponent this game. Um, this is also not a um, bad option. So yeah, for sure he have the ability to knock me out from the one hit, but yeah, once that I be able to attack, actually with that... Um, oh, there's a Judge. Oh, come on, don't play me Judge. I have so beautiful hand and right now my opponents play judge. Oh come on. Okay, yeah. It's pretty good again. Oh, there's a double color synergy, that's huge. Um, I can pretty easily discard a double color synergy if I can find my deck um, for that. Enhance hammer. Oh, I forgot, maybe I should take one um, Skyline to my deck, so with the Skyline I'll be able to um, draw the item cards that I need, actually, so... Okay, second Battle Compressor, he's already on 35, and with the Battle Compressor he'll be on 32 cards left, so yeah, I, may, I can maybe play Deck Out Solution. So there is plenty of um, darkness energies, two glades. And there's a spin arc. Um, let's. Oh, nice. Okay, I just don't want to take a risk. Let's just draw up seven cards. Okay, there's two trainers' mails. Maybe I can get. Nope. I can't. No, I don't need any of these. I really need um, Forest of the John plant. Come on! What the? Mm. I didn't get. Oh, really bad. Okay, anyway, let's just pass the turn for now. I didn't get Forest of the John plant, so I'm not able to attack for 60, and that's. Okay, that's pretty huge. Um, yeah, but at least I can evolve into a Selgor next turn. Um, and for a retreat to second a Selgor, I think that the next turn I'll be able to um, draw anything, everything that I need. And yeah, my opponent's running 24, 23 cards right now, 22. I'm on a good way to deck him out, um, even before he even starts to attack me. And yeah, that's the good side of this deck so there's another acrobatic so he's down to 20 and he have like two more time to play sycamore and there's that this will be oblivion wing um, that's for sure and there's a muscle band so he's probably going to attack me with that evil tally x on the bench and i need somehow to set up um yeah i think i will probably go for the second zorua so i can Put him back in the front, and uh, there's a Selgor. So right now I have free retreat, and there's a level ball. Let's grab the second of Selgor, uh, pretty much. Um, safely play, play, and uh, yeah, seek more for the fresh hand of seven. Let's see if I can get um, some crushing hammers. Yes, there it is crushing hammer. Oh, it's a heads. Um, let's go from the active, actually. 
let's see what we can get with the roller skates roller skates it's a tails let's try the second roller skate uh, again tails okay level ball for the SL gore oh it's a mystery okay so one more crushing hammer on the left so it looks like an enhanced hammer is benched um, it's priced excuse me so let's try to poison out that evil tile free retreat and yeah 40 plus 10 50 and yeah if you try to attack me I can prevent the damage done I think that I won't be able to prevent the attack uh, the attack ability okay so this will be the knockout if that evil tail will swing me if I get tails so I need to get heads and I need it so bad um, in order to do something and okay a fresh hand of seven so he's on the 12 cards left I have only one crushing hammer remaining and there's an ultra ball okay so 11 cards left after this ultra ball there's 11 cards left so and the muscle band oh it's a tails so oh, it's a knockout damage increased 120 okay it's not good I don't have energy cards so all I can do is hit for 60 maximum no, I tap deck the level ball I can I can probably go for the fresh Selgor, but in that case he can knock me out if he attached the energy um, let's just poison him and yeah let's pass the turn for now so it's just 10 damage from the poison yeah he can just stand in retreat remove the poison um, hit for the knockout but let's see if he can oh so there's a evil tall oblivion wing actually and the muscle band but still not enough for the knockout it will be just 50 and uh, he just waste one turn okay this go into my favor actually let's see what I can top deck there's a birch uh, it's a huge birch okay four cards I can always use poisonous nest Okay, let's just pass the turn. Nine cards left. So I have Zero Seek. Um, but that's just for the tool, but I have Lysander. Okay, so I think I will go for the probably that uh, floatstone on the Sora Arc. Oh double color synergy on Zora Arc. Okay, that's huge. Okay, there's a trainer's mail. So it looks like my opponents don't realize that he have eight cards left. Okay, so Oblivion Wing for the knockout. So he have eight cards left. Four more prize cards to take. So I need to survive somehow at least six turns to win this. Um, let's go in the front with the silver, of course. What I can tap deck, I can tap deck roller skates, and this could be huge if I can get heads. Okay. Trainer's mail. What trainer's mail can give me? Can you give me crushing hammer? And the muscle band. Let's pick the muscle band. I can take the floatstone. 
Okay, I forget to um, use poison. At least I get um, knockout right now. That's 60 plus 10, 100, um, 130 enough. Let's see what I can get from the price cards. Uh, there's a versus seeker, not bad. Not bad at all. If I can flip one head at least and stay alive one turn, this will be good. Oh, is that flowstone? Yes, it is. Oh, so I survived. Oh, really nice. Mm, let's just use again zero seek. And there you go. Double color synergy comes out from play. And yeah, there's a again 60. Oh, I forgot to use poison, but okay, anyway. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as I can um, flip the heads, I can win this game. If I can flip like uh, three more heads, I think I'll be able to win this game. And there's another double color synergy, so. Mind Jack. Oh, heads again. What a huge play. What a huge play. And there's a super road, so I need some. Cell goes back. Let's see, yeah, I need one more Shelmet. And one more Selgor, actually. Of course, again, versus Seeker for that um, huge Zero Seek. And again, I can just uh, remove the energy attached on that. Oh, I made a misplay, actually. Why did I do that? He's just knocking out right now. Oh, I should discard the tool. Um, from the another Zorark and next turn play Lysander. Okay, I right now made a misplay, but anyway, doesn't really matter. I'm on the four four price right now. Um, as long as I can flip heads, I'm okay. He's in huge trouble. Oh, versus Seeker for the Lysander. Okay, so looks like he's gonna go for the Shelmet or either for the Ariados. Doesn't really matter as long I can survive with my Selgor. I'm okay. So he go for the um, safely prize. Evil Ball. Okay. And there's a Sycamore. Yeah, I really don't have much um, choice. I need to go for the Sycamore. And there's a Crushing Hammer. And there's a Level Ball. Okay, crushing hammer tails. What we can get with the super road? Okay, two energies and shellmet back to deck. Hit for 60. Hope I can get heads. And prevent my opponent by knocking me out. Four cards left. Let's see if I can win this match. There's an Acrobike, okay, so that's huge because he'll be discarding two cards. I'm not sure why does he play that, so right now I don't see how he can win. There's a first Seeker for another Lysander. Okay, but he have two cards left. And I think that Aselgor will fall down right now. <clears throat> yes, it will.
I don't know why do I play that Lysander. But anyway, um, let's just attack and pass. So there's a stand in and a retreat. If I flip the heads, I think I'm I win this game. And oh, there's a hex maniac. Okay, evil ball hides the heads. Oh boy. Oh boy. So yeah, I win this match. Uh, it was pretty funny to play it. I must admit, um, 16 minutes of the gameplay. Um, pretty interesting deck. Um, some something like budget deck for. A little price of money and you see you win the tar one evil tile deck so yeah guys don't forget to like this video and like the deck idea i hope you watched and enjoyed watching this video don't forget also to subscribe to my channel for more future videos and don't forget to leave comments below um, what you think about this deck so until the next time um, thank you for watching have a nice day and uh, goodbye